Now, here I am at the end of the fifth round, so I'm putting my last double crochet and closing the round with a slip stitch into the top of the chain two, just like that. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to work on the armholes. So to do that, because when I chain and turn back in the other direction, that's actually going to be the place where I'm starting the left hand or the left side armhole. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to chain 37. So bear with me, chaining 37. So 1, 2, 3, chain 37. All right, and there's my 37. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the work. So turning your work. Oh, being careful not to lose that last chain of the 37. Now what we're going to do is we're going to count back from that stitch. So obviously not including the stitch beneath the chain of, well it's going to be a chain two, beneath the chain of 37. And we're going to count back 35. So counting along we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. And then at the 36th one, I'm going to keep my finger on it just like that. We're going to double crochet straight from that chain into that 36th stitch along. So straight from the chain, double crochet. Try to pull it as tight as you can without twisting it too much. Just like that. There we go. Alright, so and this one, this double crochet, is the first of 30 stitches that you're going to do along till we shape the next arm. So 2, 3, so 30 double crochets along. Alright, now that I've put in those 30 double crochets, I'm going to <coughs> chain 35. So 1, 2, Three, chain 35. Okay, and there's my chain of 35. Now once again, I'm going to count 35 stitches across here. And here I am holding the 36th stitch along, so that one just there. And I'm going to double crochet straight from the chain into that 36th stitch along. And that one will be the first of the remaining 30 stitches of the round. So that's one and two, three. And then, yes, there should be 30 stitches, 30 double crochets left till the end of the round. Once we get there, I'm going to show you what to do because it's a little different from the normal rounds that we do. Okay, so meet you once you've put in those 30 double crochets and we'll go from there. All right, here I am on my 30th double crochet of the round. So 30, oh no, 30th double crochet of the back. So it would be my 130th, anyway. Here we are at the end of the round. Now, what we're gonna do is, because it's not the usual chain two, what we do is we sort of turn this chain that we've done a little bit because it is twisted from the previous round. And you count up from the bottom just there where it comes through, two chains. So see just there, there's the first one, and there's the second one. And you're going to slip stitch into that second one. So let's do that together. Hope you can see this, hope you can see. So there's the first one. I'm just being careful because, yeah, it is a little twisted. So like that, there's the first one, there's the second one. And we're going to slip stitch into that second one, just like this. There you go. No. Slip stitching into that second chain. Just like that to close the round. So there we go. Alright, now, now that we've closed the round, our next step is to chain up two, turn the work. <clears throat> Going off the same principle of not putting your first double crochet into that space below the chain of two. Focus camera. Chain of two double crochet into the next stitch along and then we're going to put in our 30 double crochets till we get to the chain so I'll meet you at the first armhole chain so 30 double crochets 
All right, and here I am putting in that 30th double crochet before the chain. Just like that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to be putting our 35 double crochets into this chain and we're going to do the same as we did for the joining chain <coughs> that we did after, well, before we started the straps after the hood. So obviously for me that first little bump on the back, because we're doing the bump on the back instead of the V on the top again, so hang on. I'm going to grab a smaller hook because that bump on the back is always very tight for me. And we're going to put our double crochets into those bumps on the back. Ugh, it's obnoxiously tight. That's, that's okay, it's not too bad. Ah, uh, come on. Come on, get in there. Yes, yes. No. Okay. Okay, got it, yeah. There we go, that's the first one. First double crochet, now I can switch to my other hook again. And, yeah, so, 35 double crochets into those back bumps till you get to the set of double crochets, is it, oh no, that's at the back. And then you're gonna do the other arm, armhole the same. And, yes, once you get to the end of the other armhole, obviously, you're going to be slip stitching into the top of the chain two, chaining up two, turning the work, and then you're just going to be doing rounds. And this is obviously going to need to cover your bust. So once you've done rounds, enough rounds of the double crochet to just straight rounds, no increase, no decrease, no holes, no anything, just straight rounds. Um, and you're going to do enough of those to cover your bust area. And once we've done that, I think you know where to go from here. I don't think I need to meet back up with you again until we've done that. And then we're going to talk about what we're going to do after. Um, yeah, so we're going to do that. Enough rounds to cover your bust. I'll meet back up with you at that point. See you soon. All right, now that I've done enough rounds to cover the upper chest bust section, I'm going to work on the next bit, which is chaining up two and turning the work. Now I made sure to finish on a round where when I chain up to and turn I'm going to be working into the front of the dress. So make sure that you end on a round that means when you chain up turn you're going to work, be working into the front because this next bit goes into the front only. Alright, so what we've done, we've chained up two and skipping that first stitch we're just going to put in 30 double crochets across. So once we put in the 30 double crochets, so one, two, three, four. Yes, we're going to put in 30 double crochets, then we're going to meet back up when we've done that, and I'll show you what to do next. Alright, now it started raining and I've done my 30 double crochets here. So what we do next is we chain up two, so one, two, turn the work, and putting our first double crochet into that stitch right there beneath, okay, so this is where we do put our first stitch into the stitch right beneath the chain of two. So we're going to just work the 30 double crochets back across to the end of the row and so we're going to be doing this and we're going to be chaining up two, turning the work, doing our 30 double crochets until this front bit reaches round about your belly button. So once you reach to a point where it sort of sits comfortably at your belly button, we're going to meet back up again and we're going to, we're going to talk about how to work the skirt back into the dress or work the skirt into the dress to start doing rounds again for the skirt and that's what we're going to be doing so yes this bit's really simple just doing these rows of double crochet and I'll meet back up with you soon and we'll talk about where to go from there all right now I've put in my rows of 30 double crochets until it's reached my belly button and I've ended on a row that's brought me to the point where I'm the right side of the work is facing me, so the outside, which is good because what I want to do now is I'm going to spend a little time putting single crochets up the side of this 
and then around the back and then down to the other side and then we're going to work on putting in the skirt. So to do what we're going to do now is working straight from the last stitch that we were at and like I said making sure that the the right side of the work is facing you on the last row. So what we're going to do now is we're going to chain up one right from the last stitch, chain up one, we're turning to the side so that side of those rows that you were doing. And we're going to be putting single crochets. We're going to be putting single crochets into these row ends. So remember it's two stitches per row end of the double crochets. So there's the first place, so one single crochet, and then another single crochet into that row end. So just there. And then moving on to the next row end single crochet and another single crochet into the same row end. So you're going to be doing that and we're working all the way up the side of this part that we've just done and like I said we're going to be working all the way around the back as well. So into those stitches of the back so you put your two single crochets into that top double crochet row end and then working straight into these stitches along the back until you get to the other side where you'll work your uh, two single crochets into the other side of the rows, the double crochet rows. And then once we get to that point, I'm going to meet back up with you and I'm going to show you where we're going to go from there. Then we're going to work on putting in the skirt. Okay, see you soon. Alright, now that I've gone around and I've put all those single crochets in on both sides of that middle bit in the front and along the lower lower part of the back and so I've ended up over the other side so here I am at the other side now what I'm going to do is I'm sort of turning well not yet I'm going to turn this way bear with me so here I am here's where we've ended up now I'm sort of turning it this way like this now what we're going to do from here is we're going to, to have it like this. We're going to, well, for me, because there's 30 stitches just here, I'm going to chain 100. So I'm going to end up with the same amount of stitches I had when I was doing the rounds before. So I'm going to go away. I'm going to chain 100. So 1, 2, 3, 4, chaining 100. Alright, now that I've finished that chain of 100, and that's where the chain of 100 began, we're going to pick up the other side of that front bit, and we're going to slip stitch into that chain 1 that we did when we began the single crochets. So let's focus a little better. And we're going to slip stitch straight from the chain that we've done into that chain 1 on the other side of this front bit. So. Oh, wait, try not to get your yarn twisted. Oh. Which I have. Oh, great. There it is. Okay. So, slip stitching into that chain one, two, close the round effectively, and there we go. Alright, so we're going to be working in rounds again. Now, to maintain the back and forth continuity of the pattern, uh, which is why I sort of chain up to and turn, I turn every time so that there's like a back forth pattern to the designs that I make usually. And it also stops seams from drifting to the side, but you know, it's, it's another story. Anyway, so the, w the way you can tell which side of the stitch you're meant to go into is you see on one side, the braided side is showing, the braided side of the stitch, but on the other side, it is not the braided side, and that's the side that you want to go into every time. So, from here we're going to chain up two, and we're working straight into these stitches along here. So we're going to put our first stitch, not into that one where we've joined for those single crochets, but straight into that stitch where the double crochet, double crochets are. So, there's one, and for me it's going to be 130 around, and two... And three. Now what you would do is, um, if it wasn't 130 for you, if that's going to be too tight or too loose, you just sort of, you chain a length, 
that you can wrap around from you know that one side over here and that's going to sit sort of snug but comfortable around your back so not too tight not too loose and you're going to chain that length and then you would slip stitch into this single crochet just here so yeah that's what we're doing i'm going to put these double crochets in till i get to the end of this front bit uh, we'll meet back up when we get to the chain and i'll tell you what we're going to do from there all right so here i am at the end of that initial row of 30 double crochets. Now we're going to be working into the chain the same as we've been working into all the other chains. So we're going into that back bump. And for me, there's going to be a hundred of those. So I actually don't think this bump is going to be that tight, which is really, really awesome. Yes. So that one just there. So we one and two. So yeah, just work in all those double crochets around that length of chain that you've done. Make sure you've got the right amount. And then when you get to the end, you're going to slip stitch into the top of this chain too. I'm going to meet you at that stage and we'll talk about how we're going to do the skirt. All right, now here I am at the end of the round and I'm slip stitching into the top of that chain too from the beginning. Just like that. And now we're going to continue rounds as normal mostly. But we're going to have to increase for the skirt. So you can do increases pretty much any way you want. Um, what I like to do is I like to do five rounds of just straight double crochets with no increase. Uh, but on the fifth round, no, sorry, four rounds. On the fifth round, I do um, two, two double crochets into every 20th stitch. And then I do another four rounds of straight double crochet with no increase. Fifth round another one. Um, so for me, I like my skirt to be quite sort of straight, not sort of frilly. So for me, I think 140 stitches kind of works that way for me. Um, so I'm going to try and get it to a stitch count of 140 by doing what I just said. So I'm going to do that. So yeah, that's how I do my increases. But I mean, you can do them any way you want. You can increase more. You can make your skirt long. You can make it short. Um, you can increase every tenth stitch uh, with every round. Or you can do it every fifth round. You can do it every, you know, whatever you want. There's a lot of freedom involved in, you know, in making skirts with crochet. Like it's, it's just so many different ways. Anyway. Yeah, aside from that, um, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Just four straight rows of double crochet, no increase. Every fifth round is going to be every 20th stitch, increasing every 20th stitch. So that's what I'm doing, and that's how I do the skirts. And so obviously it's double crochets round, slip stitch into the top of the chain two, chain another two, turn the work, and just go from there. So now it's just, yeah, we don't have to meet back up again until we've finished. So, once we've done that, we're going to meet back up. We're going to try on our dresses. We're going to see how they look. Uh, I'm sure they're going to look lovely. I've already sort of been trying this on as I'm going, and I'm actually really happy with the way it's turning out. To be honest with you, I was a little worried to begin with because the hood's quite small. But as it turns out, the, it's, it's fine. It looks really nice. But, you know, you're going to see that when it's finished, and you'll already have seen that probably in the thumbnails. So yes, I'm going to stop talking now, um, we're going to go away, we're going to finish up our stuff, and I can't wait to see how it all turns out. Okay, see you soon. Okay, here is the finished dress. So this is an interesting design, I think, I think there's things that I could probably change about it. I'm not terribly, terribly happy with it, but I'm not unhappy with it. I mean, it is cute in its own way. Um, definitely the hood needs to be bigger, um, which, you know, I, annoyingly, I could have made it bigger, but I was, you know, underestimating how much yarn I had. Anyway, doesn't matter. It's still cute, so yeah. This one took eight balls of that cotton yarn to make, so yeah. Eight of those. I had nine. Could have used a knife. Anyway, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's still cute. So, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, I hope you like the dress. If you did, please let me know. I'd love to hear about it. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.